How many things in life are more wonderful or more satisfying than a well-made plate of bacon and eggs? Yeah, I know, it's the artery-clogging special, the cholesterol, the triple whammy. Uh, yeah, I, I know all that, the widow maker. It's all true, but once every three or four weeks can't hurt, can it, really? I like mine sunny side up with the eggs just a, a little bit runny. The, crisp, the bacon really crisp and dry, and a side of plain white toast drowning in extra butter and a raspberry jam. My ex-wife was the all-time, hands-down, queen, princess, uh, empress, and god of all things bacon and eggs. Her timing on the eggs was exquisite down to the nanosecond, and she patted the bacon uh, with paper towels so that it really was uh, crisp and dry, and it was just crunchy and sweet and dissolved in your mouth. I've been to great restaurants, stayed in fabulous hotels. Nobody ever came close. Once a cousin of mine who stuttered and spoke very loudly stood over my ex-wife and tried to instruct her how to make bacon and eggs. I threw him out of the house. Yeah. Uh, that poor woman must have loved me, at least for a while, because she made this treat for me almost every morning for close to 20 years. If I'd been very rich, I might have suspected her of trying to do me in. As it was, I did in time have heart problems, but my cardiac guy assures me it's 90% DNA. Now, there is something deeply satisfying about being able to blame your dead relatives for your health problems and other things. For many years now, I've had hot porridge with soy milk and fresh fruit in the morning. When the southern Italian came uh, uh, to North America from Naples and Sicily and found themselves poor and starving at the mercy of charitable church people. They uh, found themselves being fed porridge and they said to themselves, this is the kind of slop we give to pigs back home. What are we doing here? I know exactly how they feel. So what a deep sinful pleasure it is when I'm traveling or making some lame excuse to meet friends for Saturday or Sunday brunch to go to a greasy spoon and tuck into the glorious comfort food we know as bacon and eggs. I specifically looked for exactly such a place when I was in Chicago a few years ago, right behind the famous hotel. Yes, eggs Benny can be excellent, and Benedict's with salmon or avocado, they're delicious too, they're tasty, but nothing can beat the basic sight and smell and taste of those two big yellow eyes staring up at you and those three or four rashers of crispy, crumbly, almost blackened bacon staring up from a large white plate no flowers, no deer, no blue china prints or seaside scenes, just plain white plates. That part's important. Pickle. Indulge. Modestly.